I don't know, I just feel like it'll let noise in. Hey guys, so we're doing a pack with me, but this is my first international pack with me. If you couldn't tell by the hefty suitcase that has never been seen on my channel before. Yes, it is green. Yes, I do have a problem. I am going to Fiji with my family in... Six days, which is kind of a while before to pack, but I used to pack months in advance, so like let me have this. There's a couple of things going on like during the next couple of days, which means today is my last day to be able to pack and film it for you guys. Um, I haven't done a pack with me in a hot minute, but this one's like way more exciting than all the others. For reference, I'm going for six days, including two days where we're like flying. However, we will still be like in Fiji for those days, so like I will have to bring stuff for that climate. I used to be a a bit of a pack of pro like I was very very into packing when I was maybe I don't know year seven year eight so what was that like 13 14 years old that's kind of gone downhill I it could be for a couple reasons one reason could be the two-year hiatus we had where we couldn't travel anywhere so I am a bit rusty I haven't packed for something as big as this in I think three years maybe yeah I don't think I've been overseas in three years so this is gonna be fun I do have a packing list I made a little packing list on notion I have cross-checked it with about five different other packing lists to see if I haven't forgotten anything but I'm still convinced I have so bear with me on that and so i'm just gonna take you with me while i pack the suitcase i think i just press record but um we're back i've organized everything now so it's not looking as big like a pile of trash don't mind the cats they will be in here this is their hangout spot i am in my parents room the reason i'm in my parents room is because my room only has like a single bed that is taken up by like half of the pillows on my bed anyway if you've seen any of my other videos you'll see it later you understand but this suitcase is a bit too big to fit on it and have all my like clothes around it as well so i decided against that we're just going to be in here today let's just start with what i'm packing so let's start off with tops so my main source of tops is going to be tank tops this holiday just because it is like a sunny holiday. And I feel like they're just easier to put on your, um, on top of your swimmers. That's what this holiday is. Have I explained this? We're just doing like a resort holiday. You know what I mean. I have five tank tops here. I've got this white one, which is actually, um, like not reversible, but you can wear it either way. And so I tend to wear it this way just because it's got more coverage. This hole is just a bit too big for my liking, but it's okay. It adds a nice little back. And I got this one I picked up yesterday from Cheap Store. Oh, that was from Glass Ons, by the way. This one was from Cheap Store. Five dollars. Five dollars. It was on sale for five. That's five Australian dollars. I know. I know. Anyway, so I was. I needed another one. And so I got that. Um, this one, that's from Supre a bit ago. Very basic. Another one from Glassons. This is a halter neck. And then this one, that's also from Glassons. You're going to notice a couple things in this video. First of all, like every other Australian teenager, I shop at Glassons a lot. Um, the other theme is I only wear blue and green. That's it. Those are my colours. I tend not to go anywhere else. I mean, like, greys and browns and stuff. But, like, color colors, it's mainly blues and greens. That's all you're really going to see. Those aren't all the tops I'm bringing, though. I'm also going to bring four t-shirts, I think is what I have on here, that are all inside out, which is very annoying for the purpose of this video. I've got this one from Supre. I actually am going to wear this one to the airport. So that needs to go with my airport outfit over here. It says Daytona on it. I'm a big cheer fan. Then I've got this one from, you guessed it, Glass Ones. It's just got a little, little peace sign on it. And then, lastly... I have this one that is also from Cheap Store a while ago, but it's like one of their vintage ones. I also wanted to pack a white one, but I wore that one a couple days ago. So that go on here. And surely that's like way more shirts than the days I'm actually going to be there. But I figured if I like want to go to dinner and then also like I'd prefer to wear a t-shirt when traveling. Tank tops are predominantly what I'm going to be wearing throughout the day though. Moving on to bottoms. I've got one pair of like pants pants they're just like cord they're probably glowing because they love to do that i opted for these rather than jeans because they're a bit looser flowy i feel like it matches the vibe more but also then they're smaller to pack and easier to like flip flop around and they're not going to get creased or anything like that then i have two pairs of shorts I'm also packing denim shorts. Again, wore those a couple... No, actually, they just need a wash because the denim's quite loose. So it needs to get tighter before we go on holiday. These are both from... That was from Glassons, and both of these are from Glassons. I've just got two pairs of flowy shorts, one black one and one... 
brown one. Again, these will just go with everything. Are all my bottoms from Glassons? They so are. I think all my bottoms in general, like most of them are from Glassons anyway. <laughs> and then I saw this skirt on the Glassons website like a while ago and I was like, oh, I need that. Look, it's like all the perfect colors and like, it's just, it's so cute. And it was sold out of my size for a while, but then it randomly got another one on. And so I was like, okay. So I took it, snatched it up, but it came to me with a massive hole in it. There used to be a massive hole right here thing and it just kept in the knitting and it just kept coming bigger and bigger. Um, but I actually sewed it together myself. I'm pretty proud. I'm not very domesticated. Like I can't really cook. I can clean sort of, but I definitely cannot sew. So I spent a while trying to figure out how you're meant to do that. Cause like, it's so weirdly intricate and it was like made in a factory obviously. So I was like, how the hell am I meant to do that? But it's not the exact same stitching as whatever the hell they were doing. It was something very weird that they were doing, but it's good enough and you can't really tell. No one's gonna sit there and analyze my skirt. Um, so I'm gonna bring that. Again, I can wear that to a dinner maybe. If that's all for pants that I'm like wearing there. Um, adding to the stuff I'm wearing in the day, I've also got three button up shirts. These are going to be my like swim cover-ups. If you couldn't tell, I am pasty. I burn very easily. Now I know in Fiji, I'm not gonna, why is my eye watering? Oh my God. I know in Fiji, I'm not gonna burn as much as I do in Australia because the sun there doesn't try and kill you. So I discovered the use of button up shirts as cover ups. Mind blowing, mind blowing. Because then I won't get burnt on my arms because I don't really get burnt on my legs. It's more my arms and my face that's the issue. Obviously I can't do anything about the face. I mean like hat, but like not clothes. But my arms tend to get burnt a lot. So I discovered using these as cover ups. This one, that I got from Salvo's actually, but it's originally from Sportscraft. I don't think I've ever seen a Sportscraft store before, but their logo does kind of look like Sephora. And then I've got this one that was also from Salvo's, Jack London. Again, I don't know that. These were both from the men's section, but I definitely think this one's a woman's shirt. Every dog in my neighborhood is deciding that it's its time to speak. Not now, babes, not now. And then I got this one from Kmart. I refuse to spend that much money on a button-up shirt. Like, when you can get them from cheaper places. This one's actually cord. It's a cord material, kind of like my pants, but, like, not really. And that is it for clothes that I will be wearing at the resort. Like, that'll last me six days easy. However, here's my travel outfit. I will wear this there and back, just change the shirt. So I have these trackies. I mean, I can wear these while I'm at the resort if I want to as well. They're just these ones. They're long. They're wide leg, which is kind of fun. And they've got a little slit. They're black, so I don't know if you can see what I'm like referring to, but they're very nice. They're very comfy. And then I really was scoring at them like op shops because I got this champion jumper. It's real, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know why it wouldn't be real. I'm like, it looks very real. Um, the reason I think it's not real is because I paid $5 for it. Yeah, and it's so nice and it fits really well too. It does still kind of smell like Selvers, but we've washed it. So I feel like it just needs its time to air out. So that's what I'll be wearing on the plane because obviously in Australia we are heading to winter. I mean, Fiji is too. It's just like we we get it a bit more. Um, it's also raining 24-7 here. And we're also leaving at like 1 a.m. or something stupid. So it will be very cold and planes are cold too. So that is it for clothes. Now I'm going to go get my packing cubes. I am a packing cuber. Everyone kind of has their own technique for how to get the most out of their bags. And I found packing cubes rolling clothes. That's my personal favorite because it is, it has been like sci not scientifically proven, but it has been like shown, like there's studies and stuff on it that you um, can fit more if you roll rather than you fold. My dad taught me that one like when I was younger and I've seen it in a bunch of YouTube videos as well. And then I just like packing cubes because I find it easier to just open the one and get what you want out rather than having to, you know, go through your whole bag. Also that means when your bag, cause mine's like, two-sided when you have to flop it over. It's just the packing cubes that flop out in case anything like jiggles around. It's the packing cubes rather than having to pick up 20 individual shirts, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go get the packing cubes and we're gonna start packing. Alrighty, just a little um, checking in how my bag is going. That's like all my bottoms and my tank tops. They all fit in there quite nicely, even though I do need another pair of shorts. I'm sure I can fit it in. And then this one down here is all my button-up tops and my t-shirts. I was actually gonna put a jacket in here too. Um, and I realized one of the t-shirts it's actually a makeup stain on it, so that has to go through wash too. I thought it was clean. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Um, I do also need to put a jacket in here somewhere. This is my undies and my bras. I just went ahead and packed those in some socks. Alrighty, 
Okay, we have migrated to my room because it's now time to move on to my, like, beauty stuff. Cosmetics. My toiletries. Yeah. It, do you understand? Um, I'm pretty sure the footage that I filmed of me packing my swimmers is gone. But that's okay. We can deal with it. That's fine. But I picked up a couple new toiletry bags the other day. Because I didn't own any that were just, like, plastic. So, they came in a set of three. I have... Two little baby ones, and then one that's a bit, ugh, one that's a bit bigger. They're just clear so that if something explodes, like it won't get on everything. I have another one that I tend to use for things that can't explode and die. I just can't find it right now, but I need it. That's why it's all the way at the back. That was a lot. My hair's now like completely, yeah, great. So this is the one I usually take to things. It's like kind of a puffy material, and then you can like roll it down, and all your products are meant to like stand up in it. Got a couple compartments in there. But basically, what I'm thinking is, since we're going on an airplane, I'm worried about the pressure and then things exploding. So I figured I'd put the stuff that can explode in the plastic, and then all the other stuff can go in there. So I have my little list of things that I need to take. This is kind of odd because I am going on holidays before. So today's Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is actually Easter Friday. So the Easter long weekend, Friday to Monday, that's then. Tuesday, I leave. So from Friday to Monday, we're actually going to my holiday house. And then on Tuesday, we go to the airport and leave for Fiji. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to pack my skincare how it is. And then I'm just going to use it out of the bags for the next couple of days. Looking at that. First thing I see, I think I'm going to do is just like my skincare routine. That's going to go in the big one. I don't know if everything's going to fit. Oh, I also need to get my like face washes. No, those need to stay in the shower. There's no point like bringing it out and then having to, you know, like... Put it back in the shower. Um, what else? Oh, some after sun. Again, this won't really be used in Australia, but when I go to Fiji, obviously this is a must because inevitably I will burn. No matter how much I try, I will probably burn. We can have room for everything. This is how it's currently looking. We're not we're not really we haven't really got a lot of space. Okay, I moved everything over, so now it kind of looks like this. I have two sunscreens. I got this one that I found I got in a show bag. 20 million. No, don't focus on me, focus on the sunscreen. There we go. That I got in a show bag from the Easter show a couple of years ago. And then, so that's like for my body, I guess. I have mentioned that I am rooming with my grandmother, which means I don't get to, usually like my family will pack like one soap and one sunscreen and one, you know, one shampoo and conditioner. And then we all just share that because we use the same ones anyway. We use like pump soap, not like bar soap. I now have to bring my own of that because I've got a different shower. Um, face sunscreen as well. I actually have one already, but it's, um, it's like on its last legs and I don't think it would last the whole of the Fiji trip. Deodorant. Actually, I think I'm only going to put the stuff that can explode in this one, and then I'm going to put some of the smaller stuff in the other one. I actually reckon this one I might not put any more in. Yeah, just because it's like, if I have to put, I have two face washes. That'll fit in there quite nicely, and I think that's it. Oh no, what am I on about? Um, I have shampoo and conditioner. Look, it's little baby ones. They're so cute. And it's like a little pack, so that's nice. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to stick it in there. Oh, that almost fell down. I'm going to take the two sunscreens out because I do have a smaller like thing for them. And then I'm going to put the shampoo and conditioner in here. And then my two face washes can go in here as well. All right, that's done. Now, moving on to smaller stuff. I think I'm going to put it in this one with the little airplane on. But I'll put it this way for you so you can see. I also picked up a little baby deodorant. Isn't it cute? Um, and a baby toothbrush. Why are they Tic Tacs here? Maybe I'll have one. Um, I don't need to worry about putting these in like plastic containers or any like um come on Regan you can you can let words come out of your mouth couldn't even say that properly these are going in my actual luggage not my carry-on so I don't have to worry about the, like the size limits and putting them in plastic packets and stuff like that all right what else do I have in here because I keep a few products in here we have got a baby dry shampoo a little makeup remover and a little scrub this is kind of getting quite full I don't think the toothpaste will necessarily explode so that's going to come out. I feel like that should rather go with my toothbrush. This, however, has it. That's coming in here, but it's quite small. I think that's it for liquid toiletries. I want to empty out the rest of this bag. Q-tips, what are they called? I feel like Q-tips is a American word. Like, it must be, and we must call them something different. Possibly, I don't know. I've got a little thing of them. Makeup is another thing I needed. Hang on. I won't really wear that much makeup, I don't think, because, like, I'll be in the water half the time anyway. I'll bring the stuff that I use every day. I probably won't wear it every day, but it's just the stuff I use every day. So my two mascaras, that's not a mascara there. My two mascaras, my eyeliner. And I got this new eyebrow gel yesterday, but it works really well. I like it a lot, so. Oh, and I'm also going to bring this little lip oil, because I feel like 
in case I want it, you know, just for fun. Bias up the makeup a little. I don't know why I would do that. I don't think this is necessarily that kind of holiday. I'm also going to bring this aloe vera mask to put on my face. Just in case I sunburn the crap out of my face and I decide that it's time. This might help soothe it, so I'm just going to bring it. It's very old. Again, probably expired. It's a risk I'm willing to take right now. All right, now we're going to move on to the stuff that doesn't, like, have product in it. So I'm going to start with hairbrushes. Now, where's my comb? I need to get the hair out of my hairbrush. Like, you know how your hair, like, collects around it? And it's a bit gross. Yeah, I need to fix that. It's so gross when your hair, like, from the hairbrush is, like, on everything in the... Ooh, no, not good. This is the hairbrush I use to get my hair into ponytails. This is from Laura Jane. Not Lorna Jane. Lady Jane. Lady Jane. Um, so that can go in here. And then I also bring a smaller one like this. This is the kind of hairbrush I use in the shower. Because I don't brush my hair normally because it is... I wouldn't call it curly, but it's got curls underneath like i call it like maybe like wavy with like curls underneath like the underneath of my hair is like full ringlets um but i don't brush my hair when it's dry i only brush it in the shower when it's wet so i've just got this little brush i have my claw clip on this list i can't pack that yet because it's currently in my hair oh hair ties i was cleaning underneath my bed the other day just for fun i don't think i've ever been under there before because i have drawers and so nothing really gets under there or at least i thought i was wrong um the amount of, i've never seen so much dust in my like, it was so dusty down there. And I'm just going to tie them around the little handle of my brush. All right. I am actually also going to bring little pimple patches. Now, I don't use real pimple patches. I actually use the... You know those band-aids that were on TikTok for a bit? And they're like hydra... Hydrochloro... Something. They've got some... Something in them. How do they all... Okay, so here's their container, but I can't see them in here. Oh, found them. Found them, found them. And I think, as far as I'm aware... No. I'm wrong. I need to bring some lady products. I'll do that on my own because you never know. You can never be too careful. And also if you're going to a place that doesn't really, like I can't stop at like a Woolies or something. Maybe if I was going somewhere like the UK or like America or something. Something that structured its living very similar, or like New Zealand, very similar to how we do here in Australia. I wouldn't bother bringing like, I can just go and get some. However, I don't think that's really an option for me, especially considering I'm staying at a resort and I probably won't leave. And so I should probably pack some of those just in case. But in saying that, I think that's actually all I need. I always surprise myself when I do these videos because I really think I'm a lot more high maintenance than I actually am. I don't know how high maintenance I think I am because like this is still like quite an extensive amount of stuff. But I mean, it's less than what I thought I would bring. Um, I'm actually going to give you a tour of what my bag looks like right now. All right, so here is it in its final state. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure there's more stuff that I need, like uh, the stuff I need to wash and I need to put my pajamas in. But other than that, that's kind of it. But there's a lot more space in here that I really thought I would have. So what I've got is, I showed you the stuff before, but here is bottoms and then like singlet tank tops. Down here, I have my like button up cover up thingies and then t-shirts. I do need to put more in there. Um, these are my undies and my bras. And my socks. Um, that sock needs to go in there. I was just too lazy to do it. Um, then moving on to this side. I'll quickly unzip that. Um, these are the swimmers with the video got lost. So I've got here, I've got, that's my spring suit or my wetsuit. I've got a rashi. It's a little nice little crop rashi. And then all four of my bikinis in there. And then I've got my toiletries down here. Again, so much like space over here. It's very odd. And then here, I don't know, these got cut out too. I have my two pairs of sandals and thongs, and then I've got my cap and my sunnies in there. That's all the accessories I'm bringing. Um, I will be wearing like sneakers to the airport. All right, so that is all I have for you guys today. Please let me know what I've left behind. I mean, it's not really gonna help because by the time you're seeing this, I've actually gone on my holiday and come back. Yeah, that's not really gonna do anything, but still feel free to let me know what I've missed because I must have. There's just so much room. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Um, comment down below anything you feel like. I don't care. I do respond to comments though, so like, if you feel like it, go for it. Um, and so, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week. Bye, everyone!